Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna do a very pink, subtle look. And uh, just addressing the bee in the back, don't mind it. You know, I was recording backwards. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on to the serum I'm putting on my face. It's a vitamin C serum. And honestly, it's so hydrating, so nice. We're going to move on to foundation and we're using today Clinique Even Better Glow. This is in the color Honey. Honestly, it's just a few shades darker than me, but since I've been in the sun, it's been summertime, you know, I want to keep my tan going. So <laughs> I'm putting this shade anyway. We're going to lighten it up um, later on with contouring and, you know, blend it all in with some bronzer and all that in step three guys we're gonna move on to eyeshadow so i'm gonna show you the colors i'll be using these three are most likely to get on my eye so <laughs> we're gonna start with the first one which is go nude from the morphe artistry palette we're gonna fill in those eyes both eyes and we're gonna move on to the next color the next color is tell me more by uh, same always morphe artistry palette and what i'm doing is just dabbing it very gently in the corner of my eyes so i can blend it inwards and it can create that um that crease now i'm getting a blending brush and i'm just buffing all that out so it blends nice and smoothly there's no hard edges here guys i'm grabbing a little bit of thrice and i'm gonna put it just on the outer side corner of my eye to deepen that up and uh, basically give it more dimension so uh, from this we're gonna move on to French kiss which is a very beautiful goldish color and um, if you can't get that much pigmentation I recommend you just squirt a little bit of Mac fix plus and that will help with the color shining through now I'm just blending that out smoothly and gently and for the next next color i'm gonna use swipe right and shameless from the same palette just to give it more light in the inner corner and give it more glow so this is what's happening right now uh with the same color thrice and an angle brush what i'm doing is bringing that color downwards uh on the lower lash basically just to darken that up and bring the whole look together great guys here's the time to contour <laughs> now we've got the cap on the uh, contouring kit this is um basically a powder so what i do is i set as well um just my fa my foundation in this case i didn't use concealer because i knew it was going to be way too bright for the foundation i was using so moving on i'm just using a lighter color to set the the, the bridge of my nose and the my under eyes basically just any part that i think it needs to be a little bit more brightened up and with and this is a beauty blender basically i'm just um dabbing all the product inside my skin let's say with an angle as you see a wing brush sorry i'm gonna grab the dark uh part of the contouring kit and i'm just gonna contour my um my cheekbones a little bit under my chin you know just to give it more dimension to the face and all that <laughs> we're moving on to bronzer i love this part this brings the whole contouring together so it doesn't look so white and dark you know it just i don't know it blends it all in i like it it, makes, it gives you a little glow as well <laughs> after all that padding you know um powder so moving on to the eyebrows with our nyx fill and fluff eyebrow pencil we're just gonna you know draw them carefully carefully with small little strokes we're just gonna outline them and then we're just gonna fill them in and fluff them out with our uh, the back of the pen which just you know brushes them through which makes them look a lot neater and beautiful okay here we're moving on to blush and honestly you can use any blush i found this pinkish uh, blush in my makeup and i thought why not let's give it a go so i did put some some blush uh, on my cheeks it's a very pink subtle one as you can tell so 
since you can't even see it that much um i will add some more blush at the end of the video but for now we're just gonna curl our pretty little eyelashes you know and we're gonna put some uh mascara so moving on to eyelashes as i said you get your eyelashes ready get your mascara ready and boom diggity put some mascara on <laughs> this will give more dimension to the whole look and it won't look so weird you know with all the eyeshadow without i just feel like if you don't have mascara on or at least some eyeliner i feel like it's it's not finished you know so moving on to the lips uh, here I grabbed a contouring lip kit. So basically it's just contouring Well, basically lining my lips as you can tell and we're gonna move to the liquid liner Which is a little bit darker and then uh, once it dries We're just gonna put a little bit of a lighter color in the middle of our lips just to give it a more dimensional as I said like a 3d, you know um, lip delicious <laughs> kind of vibe once we have our beautiful lips done, we're gonna move on to more blush because as I said before, you couldn't even tell. Now we're just adding a little bit more color. It's bringing everything together. I'm loving it. I hope you are too. <laughs> um, if you're new here, please subscribe, like the video, and let's move on to highlighter and Max Fix Plus, of course. Let's grab a little bit of product, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, girl, <laughs> and put it wherever you think is suitable. I always put it on the top of my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose but mainly on the tip of my nose i think it looks so pretty oh my gosh and yeah here's the final look guys i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial i enjoyed making it i enjoyed the look it was a very subtle glowy beachy even summery kind of look but you can wear it whenever you want i loved it and i hope you did too so if you did um smash that like subscribe as i said before if you want to leave me a comment or a suggestion please do i love you all